Welcome to Catterson's Clips. The following clip will give a presentation of AutoCAD Plant 3D pipe routing. We begin with our piping model into which we have the civil structural structural trim and equipment models X referenced. And you'll notice that we're working in a perspective view. Let's hide the X references and zoom into our work area. Today we'll be running a DN300 line from the shell side outlet nozzles of the two evaporators to the suction nozzles on the recirculation pumps. Firstly we confirm our spec selection, confirm our line size and then select route new line from the line number selector. To identify a new line we enter a unique count value. Now we will select connection points for our new line. Select the node of our first nozzle, then the node of our second nozzle. And pipe components including flanges, gaskets and bolts are placed connecting these two nozzles. To continue our line to the pumps, we click on the elbow below the second nozzle and we're presented with a number of glyphs. Substitute pipe glyph, move glyph and two pipe continuation glyphs. We click on the horizontal pipe continuation glyph and on the node of the first pump suction nozzle. In instances like this where there are multiple paths, these path options are presented to us to toggle through and when we've found the one that we want, we can accept it. Now again, we click on the elbow, click on the second pump suction nozzle. And now for the purpose of this demonstration, our line is complete. And we can hover over the line to view our details. We're going to run an isometric of this line now, so we'll pull up the isometric ribbon, select production isometric, and select our line number from the drop down list and create. Now we can navigate to the isometric tab on the project document tree and wait for our isometric to generate. And once it appears, we can double click to open. And here is our piping isometric ready for checking or for shock fabrication. It shows piping geometry, connected equipment, dimensions, coordinates, item tags, and the bill of material. So to recap, we opened our piping model, we set our piping parameters, we ran a line using pipe router, and we generated a spooling isometric. That concludes this Plant 3D pipe routing demonstration. For additional Plant 3D demonstration clips, please visit the Cat Group Australia website. Thank you.